Thank you so much. It is Savory Sweet with Liz Fowler. We're so happy to have you here. Hello. Good morning to you. And you are cooking up something uh, a little more nutritious than your standard comfort food, right? Right, exactly. Yes, it's comfort food without all the guilt. So we're kind of <laughs> making a um, veggie pot pie today um, with a sweet potato biscuit. So adding nutrition wherever possible. So rather than your regular buttermilk biscuit, we're going to add sweet potato for the extra nutrition and um, kind of sneak it in there. So maybe if you're giving it to kids, they don't always know that they're eating their vegetables, but you do. And perfect. Good. Yeah. Perfect. I have one kid who likes them, one kid who we would have to hide them. So yeah, that exactly. works out really so well. Good. All so, right. so, what do we have? How do all we start? All right, we're starting off. You're going to go ahead and just roast some different vegetables. Like today, I did um, carrots and cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, uh, pearl onions. You really can use any kind of vegetable you want to use. Um, you know, there's different, you know, parsnips, turnips, all those are in season right now and they're really great. Um, just okay. hearty winter vegetables. And then in the pot, what you're going to do is um, make a little bit of a roux. So all a roux is is a little bit of butter and flour, and you're going to cook it down over a low heat just to kind of make more of a paste and cook out the flour, which has a kind of a starchy taste to it if you don't cook it down. Okay. And then you're going to add in some seasoned milk, and that's just going to kind of make a little bit of a sauce for you. And then I drink that? No, you don't drink it. I don't because know how to. Well, it would I don't taste. know why that sounds appealing to me, but it does. I, okay. Well, warm milk, warm milk that's been seasoned. Right. You're going to add some thyme and um, sage and all that good stuff, so it may not taste horrible, but. Okay. Okay. Um, probably better once you get all the other stuff in there. All right. So we're going to go ahead, and it's going to be kind of a thick sauce in your pan. And then you're going to keep um, adding all your roasted vegetables into the pan. And what you're going to do is then just kind of coat all the vegetables so they get that good sauce on there. It makes it nice and creamy, which is the comfort food part of it. Yes. So everything you want comfort and creaminess when you're, um, you know, cold and all these winter snow days coming up. Yes. And just They're add it. Coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> unfortunately, I know. So you're going to add it right into um, any kind of little individual serving dish. I think is nice because then it's kind of fun because you can kind of, you know, it's a nice presentation for when you're entertaining or mm -hmm. kids may think it's fun if it has a lid and they're kind of opening up their, you know, dinner as a fun little gift or a package or whatever. I don't have one of these, but we have the uh, the French onion soup bowls. Yeah, Will that work the absolutely. same? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Any kind of individual serving dish that you can put right into the oven that's bakeware. So okay. anything like that. Or if, again, if you don't have the individual dishes, you could put it in a big casserole dish and that's completely fine too. It's going to taste the same. I just thought I was kind of more fun and a little more festive, yeah. especially if you're entertaining with it. And it's cute. And it's cute, it's right. It's okay to say it's cute. It's really <laughs> cute. Look at it. All right. Um, and then also on the website, there is um, this recipe as well. They're the sweet potato biscuits, which you're just going to roll out. And you can use any kind of size um, biscuit cutter. You could use, you know, again, if you're doing for kids, it could be stars. It could be whatever you want to use. Cool. And, um, you know, any size you want to use. So then you just kind of put the unbaked biscuit dough right on top of the casserole dish. And then you're going to put this on, in the oven. Um, I would recommend probably putting it on a baking sheet so that it doesn't bubble over and make a mess in your oven. So you're going to put that Good in there, advice. bake it in the oven um, for about 375 for about 10 minutes, 15, 10 minutes until everything gets golden brown. And then it looks like this. That so, is remarkable. Yeah, it's just really easy and it's, you know, comfort food. And again, you can do all of this up to, um, you know, four days ahead of when you're going to do the meal. And so it's a kind of a make-ahead dish as well. So if you're entertaining, you know, on a Tuesday and you don't have time during the day to make it or whatever the case may be, um, you can make all of it ahead of time and just keep it in the fridge. And then when you're ready, you can pop it in the oven. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I want so badly to eat all of this, but I'm just going to try a bite. Liz Fowler with Savory Sweet Foods of Perrysburg. Mm -hmm. You're wonderful as always. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll post these recipes in just, just a few minutes. It'll be on northwestohio.com slash blogs. And you can get Liz's food from her weekly menu by going to her website, which we'll link you up to. Plus, she has uh, fresh food delivered every week to Kazmaier's and Churchill's in Perrysburg. We will see you next Tuesday. Sounds great. Thank and you. we'll see you at home in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right.